Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the 903 Brewing Company Slushy Yale. So the 903 company uh, is based in Texas? Yeah, it's out of Sherman, Texas. Sherman. Which is, I guess, northeast, in the northeast corridor of the state of Texas. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, I've really never heard of these, but the fact that they make a slushy beer sounds amazing. So slushy smoothie style goes in with dragon fruit, guava, vanilla, and lactose. Uh, keep cold, drink fresh, same, same, every can's the same. So there's that. And look at this. Look at yours is a different color. Did you shake it up? Before. Hmm, I don't know. So we noticed there's no ABV listed on the can, but um, I just checked out my receipt when I purchased this beer and it looks like it's 6.15%. You guys might want to think about doing that though. Yeah. Uh, Cause I don't know what I'm drinking here. Uh, anyways, so yeah, this pours a really crazy, just, it looks like guava juice. <laughs> it looks like, like straight up is this juice. beer? I, I mean, apparently, right? These days, anything passes as beer. Wow. Dang, that's a really uh, it, like uniquely, it, it's a really specific smell that guava, mm -hmm. it's really strong. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of that vanilla too though. Guava and vanilla all day in this thing. And it just looks like it's gonna drink like a smoothie. I mean, again, this is another one of those beers, much like the, um, what was it? The one, the, the Sonic drive-in one? Who did that? Aslan. Yeah. Um, yeah, much like that, where it looks like a melted slushy. And it's, I mean, it's called slushy, so I guess that's what they're going for. I'm not getting the dragon fruit so much, but then again, I've never really I like eaten a, eaten a dragon fruit, so I don't know what that tastes like. Yeah, me neither. I think I think I've had one or two things with dragon fruit in it, and it's just like a very like sweet, um, like sweet fruit. Yeah, it's fruity. It's That's like it. citrusy and fruity. Mm -mm. Okay, well, uh, I guess let's just dive in. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. It's like really, really, very mildly tart. Yeah, it's it's like it's more on the back end, like it's like in the back of your throat. It's not so much like forceful in the front, like a like a kettle sour would be. It's very much like in your throat, and it lingers around. It's like almost like an aftertaste, almost like a West Coast style uh, IPA, where the hops kind of hit you in the back of the throat after the fact. Yeah, sort of like that. I definitely think I just got a chunk of guava. <laughs> there are chunks floating around in there, and I'm not sure if that's by design. I mean, probably is because it's so fruity. I mean, there's barely any kind of carbonation in it. It's almost it's, like you're drinking like none. straight nectar juice, like straight nectar juice. This actually reminds me of an Imperial Goza I had by The Veil. It was a collaboration with The Veil and Omni Polo, and it was amazing. It was this same consistency, loads and loads of fruit. But it was mango. I mean, I don't know if you can here hide your face so the camera picks it up. Like, I don't know if you can see how much how much just crazy amounts of fruit sediment is on that glass right there. That's just ridiculous. That's crazy. It's really pulpy and really like citrusy and fruity, and that lactose component really helps it go down in like a crazy smooth way. That's one of the smoothest beers I've ever had. And it's not, I don't think it's actually quite sweet at all. It's really not, it's more tart than sweet. It's just sweet. tart and... It's a little sweet. Like from the natural sweetness that the, the fruit itself has. I right, think. it's all fruit based. Yeah. Like there's no like add additional sort of sweetness aspect to it. That's really good actually. Yeah, I'm surprised. 903, guys, what the hell? Where did you come from? Now they have one, um, a couple GABFs, right? Or at least one. Yeah, I think one or two back in like 2016. So good job on that. Another brewery that we've never actually heard of that uh, is coming out of the woodwork like, bam, bam. Are you saying pow? What are you saying? So anyway, guys, that does it for us. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, stay tuned to the channel and click that subscribe button, hit the like, and check out our Facebook, Patreon, and Instagram links in the description below. All right, till next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.